Hi, it's Elder, and today I'm very excited to share with you the great news we've got from developers of Blocks. A few days ago, they released the new brick for Blocks Free, and it is called Site Search. And as you can guess from the name, it is the brick which lets us add the native search functionality to Blocks websites. For years, the users of my Blocks templates or the students of Blocks Master have been asking me this question about adding search to Blocks websites and I finally have the answer thanks to the developer of Blocks. So let me show you how it works on my computer here. When you purchase the site search brick, you will have four files and the first one of course is the documentation which you should read carefully and then we have three BEX files and basically this brick is not just one brick, there are three bricks and you need to install all of them. To install the brick in blocks all you need to do is double click on the BEX file or to drop the BEX file on the blocks icon. And if you have the multiple blocks versions installed on your, on your computer make sure that you select the blocks free. And I already have the brick installed on my computer, so it will ask me if I want to override it. I already done that, but you need to do that for all three bricks. And as you can see here, I have opened the blocks templates project. And if you go to the live website of blocks templates, you can see that I have the collection of templates. And at the moment, there are already uh, over 30 of templates. So it might be more difficult for users to find the one they want. So I think that adding the search functionality to this website will be perfect. So let's go back to the blocks templates project file. And now we will go to this area and I can add the search brick right under this text or I can maybe duplicate this row and place it right here. So when we press on the new uh, add brick button we will have this brick bar and of course let's type search and now we have three new bricks. There is the site search exclude, site search external link and of course the main one site search. So for this place, for this placement we want to add the site search brick. And as you can see right away, we already have this simple search field. And if we go to preview mode and scroll down here, you can see already that we have this search brick available on our website. So let's customize this brick to make it a little bit smaller. So I will select the brick and I will actually select the parent column and change the width and offset settings. So let's make this brick occupy third of the screen and we will move it to the center. So we will have the width four and offset four. So I think now it's much better and I will get rid of the margin for the row so it is closer to the text and the image grids underneath. Next, let's select the brick itself and we will have a few options in the sidebar inspector so we can set it to be dark theme and because we have the white background here i don't think we need dark theme so we will get rid of that we can make this search field be semi-transparent which i might do here even though we don't have any images underneath but maybe i will add it in the future and we can make it rounded or square so i will make it rounded and I can add or delete the icon. So I think I will add the search icon, it looks quite nice here. And of course we can replace the placeholder text. So by default it says search, let's change it to find your template. Template, dot, dot, dot. okay, something like that. And uh, we can also optimize and change the drop down menu at the moment. We can see it of course, but we can set it to be dark theme as well. And as you can see, we did not apply that to the input field. So I don't think we need that dark theme for the drop down result 
as well. So I will leave it as it is and when we will not have any results, sorry, no results will work fine for me. Okay, so let's preview what we get at the moment and you can see now it is smaller and much better looking and if we type the designer you can see we have this designer blocks templates page and if we click on it it will go to designer so how does this work so if we go back here to the support document we can actually read how this works the site search brick is searching the keywords and SEO page name you have for your blog's pages. So let's say that I want this template, producer template, which is the template for video producing agency, uh, appear when I search for YouTube. So if I go to search now and type YouTube, obviously I don't have any, any results because I did not mention this keyword anywhere. But if we go back to this producer template page, open page settings and add the new, new keyword, I will type YouTube and press done. Now let's go back to the preview mode and type YouTube. And as you can see, we have the producer template appear when we type this keyword. And we don't even need to type the whole keyword at once. Just typing U will already show us this page. So it's very easy and all you need to do is to fill the SEO title and SEO keywords for this search brick to work. So let's take a look at other two bricks we have and I will explain to you why we need them. So if we go back here, the exclude page brick, this brick allow us to block certain pages from appearing on the search results. So let's go back here and let's say that, well, I have the support page. Let's say I don't want this page to appear when people are searching for templates. So all I need to do is just place this site search exclude brick anywhere inside the dynamic area so it, sh it has to be this page only not the global areas and as you can see if i for example go to preview mode and start support we don't have any results so if i go back for example and get rid of this brick from this page and go back to preview mode let's go to the home page and type support as you can see now i have this page here so if you want to exclude some pages from the search results just place this brick there and it will be there so and the finally final brick is the site search external link and this one also very useful it allows us to add the search results from other websites so let's go back to our blocks project file and you can place it anywhere so i will place it under the search field it doesn't really matter and i will place this site search external link brick and when we click on it it gives us these options in the sidebar so uh, let's add the new search item and I will give it the title of blocks, blocks master and I will give it the URL of our blocks master website and now I just need to type the keywords so when users are searching for tutorials, videos, how to's courses or something else they will now see this uh, blocks master item so i will press return go to the preview and now when users type tutorial you can see they get this blocks master item available there to them and if we go to the browser preview and let's type once again courses you can see that blocks master is appearing here and then users 
click on blocks master they will be brought to the blocks master website so this is the site search brick which is very powerful but at the same time very easy to set up and it works instantaneously very fast of course it doesn't have the features of google or any other real search engine but uh, i think that for the most websites as long as you fill out all of the seo descriptions right or seo keywords and seo title you will be fine because i think that this brick is more than enough for most websites and you can already customize it using the built-in options in the sidebar but if you want more customization you can uh, go to the support materials and there are a few custom classes provided by the developer which you can adjust to change the look and feel of the search container the drop down the menu results and other things which i will be teaching in the blocks master series very soon so as always uh, thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and i will do my best to answer them and if you want to learn blogs visit blogsmaster.com for free and premium video courses designed to help you master your web design skills with blogs. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.